Hi there, my name is Ethan Butte. I live in the heart of the Ivy Wild neighborhood. I've been there for more than a decade and I've used North Shine Canyon and Strawberry Fields a lot over the past decade. Um, Christy, I asked that you forward this to the parks members, uh, board members prior to the meeting on Thursday. I just want to share my feedback on today, the last day that you'll accept feedback on the North Shine Canyon master plan and a note on Strawberry Fields. So, um, you know, the line that was used uh, by Priscilla Marbarker is, um, uh, that the parks are being loved to death. And so my position is when the parking lots are full, the trails are full. And that is how you, it's how you keep the trails from being loved to death. You know, I look at the plan, which is 166 pages. And so uh, one of the problems with a plan that size that, you know, most people, and I'd, I'd be surprised uh, if all the uh, board members, in fact, have read every page of that document and understand it, is that with a document that large, people are left to other people's interpretation. And so I ask that in the face of uh, nearly 5,000 pieces of feedback on that uh, change.org position, uh, some of these pieces of feedback, feedback collected at prior meetings, that you would at least slow this thing down and think about some of the points in that 166 page online document, um, including paving Gold Camp Road is just completely outrageous. We, we barely have the money to take care of our parks. Um, I don't know what budget that's going to come from, but it, I don't know what problem that's solving, um, except creating more opportunity maybe for buses to shoot out the top and go around or something. Um, the other piece there is uh, this idea of running shuttles at all uh, and paving over that whole parking area. Um, again, totally outrageous, not necessary. When you start busing people in, A, you're making it a lot more about the tourist. I understand that our tax structure is really geared toward tourism, but we were just ranked the second best place to live in the United States. If you want a sustainable future, you want a really nice place for people to live, work, and play. And so gating this thing off, creating barriers, charging fees, closing roads around that area, including picnic areas, it's all just... Uh, kind of crazy to me that that's the direction we're going. You have to ask why, like what problems are we solving by paving Gold Camp Road? Um, what problem are we solving by uh, locking up the gate, figuring out how to fund a shuttle system? Uh, when again, we're barely taking care of our parks as they are. So when the parking lots are full, the trails are full. That's the best way to restrict access and, and, and create a more managed process. Uh, we could take some of the money that we would spend uh, doing a variety of these, um, these pieces and instead invest them in trail maintenance or invest them in having human presence in the parks to make sure that some of the rules are enforced. Um, I've never seen any of that in all my time in either of these places. Uh, quick note on strawberry fields. Um, a, uh, it's still tied up in the court system and you should honor and respect that prior to making a decision or making any advancement or certainly before breaking ground. And then two, the whole thing is, um, you know, Wigington, uh, the, the appraisals were, were clearly terrible. He was penalized for that work. The two pieces of land that can be developed at all um, obviously have a dramatically higher value. Um, and the idea that the, that the disposal process uh, was running well before any of this was shared with the public just really shines a light on um, this idea that I have that I don't like, but that it's all just going to go ahead despite what any of us share. So anyway, I just want to take a minute to share my feedback. I hope you respect it. I hope you honor it uh, and that of thousands of other people who've engaged in this public process. Um, and I hope if the master plan goes forward as is that you'll also honor the idea of taking public input prior to advancing any of these toolbox items. Uh, thank you again very much. And please reply if you have any questions at all. Take care.